Fire outbreak raises ex-president Shagari's family house in Sokoto. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The former president, Lin Shehu Shagari's family house, was raised by a fire outbreak in Sokoto on Saturday. The late Shakari house located in Gombirwa area in Sokoto Metropolis was estimated to accommodate over 20 family members. Although the cause of the fire outbreak has not been ascertained and no life was lost, or properties worth billions of naira were said to have been destroyed by the inferno as the fire overpowered the efforts of the Good Samaritan in the area to vacate some valuable properties and control the fire failed. However, people bore the fire service personnel for their coming to the incident late saying, Bamaso, Bamaso, which means we don't want, we don't want. Alhaji Umar Salakin Zangon, a neighbor of the family house, the fire outbreak started around 11 a.m. on Saturday morning and raised the entire building. Zango stated that all effort by the people of the area to quench the fire in the early stages before the arrival of the fire service proved abortive. Also, Aisha Shonghun Gidan Shagari said the fire which got at the house of the former president further escalated to the neighboring houses due to the lateness of the services, the service vehicles to arrive at the incident scene on time. She further noted that the firefighting vehicle arrived at the scene with inadequate water after, after they had come late. Ataniru Shehu Shagari, a grandson of the former President revealed that he was at home when he heard people shouting of when he heard shouting of people raising awareness and seeking help. Also noted that days back later arrival at the incident scene, the fire service complained of insufficient water in their possession. Reacting, the director of state fire service, San Nemo Bawa Kasarawa said he received three district calls of fire outbreak same time in different locations, including Gidan Delo, Akila and Gobedewa respectively. Bawa, who vividly remembered that he received the district calls from the former president by from the former president location by 1.13 p.m. and immediately released the vehicles to former president house by 1.15 p.m. One of my officers sustained an injury while trying to control the inferno as a result of the pressure of the people at the scene. Now, this is actually very sad. This is very sad. And this is me putting out, should I say, an alarm? Please, this is actually a period where you'll be hearing fire gutted houses. If you watch as we approach the dry season, if you people understand, if you approach the dry season, this is what happens. If you are going out anytime, please make sure all your appliances are off. Some of these things are electrical. Some of them are gas. This is not the time to be forgetful, I beg. If you are cooking, please hold your mind together if there's any way you can hold hold your mind if possible make sure something is keeping you busy it's not the time to sleep off because i'm saying this because during um dry season like this in the country everywhere you know everywhere is dry everywhere is hot nothing to cool anything down i use god beg all of us this is not the period imagine that you have a home at least you are facing your issues but you have something to call where you go lie down where you go sleep you have somewhere you go i won't reach out i won't go i won't go rest at least you have that imagine losing it because of one carelessness of one person or the other or somebody forgetting to turn off you know turn off the lights turn off electronics before leaving the house or because of forgetfulness or more that thing would pay you in that blood you'll be asking yourself why you have to be bearing the consequences of another person's forgetfulness I use good beggars. Uh -huh. Now, with that being said, out of the way, um, it is always this issue. It will always be this issue. Now, why I'm saying yes, yeah, so it is actually very tiring and it is actually very um, annoying that um, there was going to be fire incident and if you make distress calls, these people are not going to ever come on time. It is in their nature to always come late. Do you understand? At any location, if the fire light, let the fire be in, uh, what's it called? Let it be in Abuja, let it be in, you understand, these people always come late. And they're always coming with, you know, 
with insufficient water or should I say insufficient things to be needed. I don't know why. I think this should be looked into. How can you be coming to a place where there is you know fire you don't get within the chemical way you know sometimes we hear oh the chemical way they're supposed to put inside the water and they don't get enough of them. You know this super story. It's 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 it tells of a failed nation. It tells still of a failed nation if you don't know. <laughs> then um for those who keep these people still pending you understand keep these people pending and eh? they reach late when they google they go back no 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 no. allow them come to their work allow them i know it is painful i've actually been at sense of these things and you know people will be like eh may they go may they go allow them to come in at the end of the day self go those people they actually end up you know injuring those fire servicemen, which I think is wrong. Whether you like it or not, you see the way when Nigeria they bite you. You see the way you are going to your job frustrated. Many of them. How much do they pay them to be firemen? How much? On top of that, they don't even make the tools that they're supposed to be using to work. They don't make it available to them. I'm telling you. So, uh, it, is, it is one thing. Yes, you're angry that they came late and you don't want them to come in the fire will continue yes you might have done all the work sometimes these people come come at the scene where a lot of people if that particular area is populated you know they have put hands together and people would have been you know it's still they still need to come in and use their and use their own water and their own you know experience to quench the fire totally you know there are some actually fires you think oh they don't you don't stop but you will do the next day before you know it, the fire will continue from where it stop. So yes, we are actually we are sending we are sending um should I say we are sending uh, we, we understand what it meant for the Shigari family, just like any family in, in Nigeria to be facing this at this time. This is not the time I'm telling you, and the and the period one should be losing it. Not that any time is perfect, but at this time we we'll be say terrible heat even past boiling heat. <laughs> I just go beggars let us be extra careful i know some things you cannot actually um you cannot stop them from happening you understand but at least we should do our own part and make sure that we are actually not the cause eh, of anything that will make you know losing your home this period come to you or another person losing their home please be extra extra careful all right on this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for so I need to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.